Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so, oh man, I almost screwed up the launch. As normal, oh my god, so, yeah, th that, that is that. You guys might be wondering what the heck this thing is, and uh, I think I should hit the lights and give you the idea. Now that is freaking amazing, isn't it? Yes. So, I have been working tirelessly on modules for our Minmus base, and it honestly, the one thing that we've needed, and I mentioned it last episode, is a working command module. Now, we really don't have any kind of command module attached to our base, which is appearing to be somewhat problematic as far as having control over certain things and being able to decouple stuff from the base because of the fact that not everything is going to be connected perfectly the first time. And I'll just throttle up here because we're about to run out of these solids. Perfect. There we go. Now I'm really hoping this thing will stay together, but there's a good part of me that is leaning towards it not sticking together very well. Come on. Oh my god. So, let's see here been having a little bit of problems with my... Ooh, we just lost some engines. There we go. Perfect. Get rid of those. I've been having a little bit of problems with my keyboard lately, and I don't know what's going on. This has been the number one running thing on my channel, I think. It's just my keyboard not working when I need it to. So, oh, God. This is... This is looking okay. I, I'm not... This load isn't 100% stable... So, I am pretty much expecting it not to be, like, 100%. And because of this big, long beam here and all this stuff, there's a lot of, kind of... The center of mass is still kind of in the center, but it's a little bit off. I, I tr really tried to counterweight everything and try to make it, like, perfect, but... Uh, there's only so much you can do, and I didn't want to have two towers, because that would have just looked silly. So... Yeah, this will be basically two separate modules, and I thought I put crew inside here, but apparently not. There should have been basically three kerbals on this launch, but uh, what what you know if 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 they're not on there, that's not that big of a deal. We're gonna have to start sending some colonization missions. And um, I've been working on other modules for our base as well. And one of the major things that we need as well is some way to uh, store fuel. And I've been looking at a few different ways. And I think I've come up with something that looks like it's going to be a winner. But I am not 100% certain on how everything is going to work. They're... they're I'm really trying to lean towards using less parts, but at the same time, I still want to have really cool-looking stuff. I do know that with the welded mod, I am basically cutting back huge amounts of parts in order to make something even better than what I've ever created before. But it only works to an extent because, obviously, so much... You can only build so much until the point where it starts to get laggy or whatever and for those of you who keep asking yes I do have a pretty decent computer to be running this game and uh, I should have tilted over a while ago but whatever it's not that big of a deal but yeah I have a pretty beefed up computer I spent a good amount of money on it and uh, I really I ended up designing my computer mostly for playing this game and playing a few other games as well I mean you do the crisis test, or everyone has their own little test when they play the game, or when they set up their computer, or what kind of game they're trying to build their computer around. Um, you know, a lot of people will choose crisis. Some people will do, like, 3D Mark and stuff like that, but I don't really, I can't offhand tell you the specs of my computer because I don't honestly remember. I do know that I have an i7 Sandy Bridge. I can't give you what... I can't remember which one it is. It was about a year ago when I built this thing, so it, I just can't remember anymore. And I ended up getting an ATI card off of my brother, 
and he ended up mailing that to me, and I basically had to pay almost nothing for that card. I mean, pretty much just shipping, and, uh, what else, uh, 16 gig RAM, I, I think DDR3, I can't remember anymore, it's just, it's just so long ago, and, uh, my brother did help me build, a, uh, well, not build the computer, he helped me pick out the parts, because he's a bit more savvy as far as computer parts and everything else are, he's a lot more savvy in, in that area, and he knows what the latest and newest stuff is. Whereas I, on the other hand, I always catch the slight, you know, the, the slight chitter-chatter about specific parts or specific things that are really good at, at certain times. But, um, you know, it's always kind of like a constant thing where I'm pretty much always out of the loop with certain things and I just don't know anymore. So it looks like we're getting kind of close to our periapsis, so I'm going to throttle back, actually just kind of point it upward there we go that works and it looks like I think oh okay never no no I thought we did but the stage has a tendency to break off from here all the way on so th that is kind of a normal thing with this rocket design is that this stage here isn't exactly the most stable stage so let's get this over and complete our burn but yeah my brother is definitely a lot more tech savvy or at least hardware savvy whereas I'm more software savvy and I know specific software and what what it is you need to do specific things where some people might not know these kinds of things so let's get ourselves to Minmus there we go and we're there uh, that would be amazing no no uh, there we go but yeah, I really need to kind of, I was always, consi like, I always will read, like, Tom's Hardware and stuff like that, but I never really get, I, I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes down to specific computer parts and stuff like that. I definitely can't just, like, build you a computer in my head, yeah, but when it comes down to actually building the computer and putting all the parts into the case and all that stuff, I know how to do all that. That. It's like second nature to me, and, you know, as far as, like, servicing stuff, I know how to do laptops, and all that fun, fun stuff. It definitely isn't fun. I, I think the worst part about anyone who basically knows anything about computers, it, mostly software side, or, like, even just doing formatting and stuff like that, the worst part is, out of knowing any of the stuff, it's like a gift and a curse, is you got everyone in your family, all your friends, and everyone that you could possibly know asking you to fix their crap. And I have no problem with that, but it, it's like they intentionally break it so that you have to constantly keep fixing it. And why is this veering off to the side here? That is a little strange. I'll use the RCS fuel, it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I've had just about everyone in my, my family basically ask me to fix their crap for me. And, and, all, and all, their all my friends too. They're all like, you know stuff about computers? Fix it. Fix it. And I'm like, no. But, yeah, so... I have been a little bit busy with this game, and uh, I'm, I'm thinking of kind of picking up on the regular KSB series, because I've been pretty much neglecting that. Recently, you know, I've just been having fun with this modded stuff, so, you know, I'm not really, I haven't really been so concerned with actually doing a lot of episodes in that, but I think I might jump back f for a little bit. And start kind of scattering out my episodes again like I was doing before compared to just, you know, doing 10 episodes of one thing and then 10 episodes of the other and then just jumping back and forth. The career mode, I'm thinking of starting to do some more episodes for, but I'm just not really 
that involved with career. I just, I, I haven't cared so much with career. Whereas modded has, you know, if I want to change it, I can change it, and I have all the parts, so. But I do know the fun with career mode is unlocking the parts, and I th do think it's kind of fun. But the main problem is, is that I just, you know, with playing sandbox and already doing most of the stuff, I, I really am not 100%, like, just having fun with that. Like, they're still kind of, I'm just not, we'll, we'll leave it at that. It's just a mumbled mess of words. Uh, that's all I could say about the career mode. And, and the fact that it's not even finished yet, really, you know, it's... You, basically, you, you only have three bodies that you pretty much can explore that have biomes and all that other great stuff. And, I mean, forgive me if I'm mistaken, too, about that. that I mean, there may be more than that, but as far as I know, there's only three. The, you know, the Moon, Minmus, and Kerbin that have biomes and all that craziness. So, anyways, guys, uh, I'll see you once we're in our landing sequence. And it looks like everything is just coming together ever so nicely, but I really do think I'm jinxing myself by even saying that. I really don't know if this thing... I haven't really tested it much, that's all I'm going to say. The uh, only thing I did was, I, I always do just my initial takeoff, just to make sure that all the parts, you know, work together and everything just works ever so nicely. But generally, I mean, I don't really test very much, because, I mean, what you guys would think, I would test, like, insane amounts of stuff just to make sure that everything just works absolutely perfectly, uh, yeah, I, I, not really, um, it, it's kind of just, uh, throwing stuff together at certain points, but, I mean, I do try to at least make sure that these things work, but, you know, the, there always is, like, kind of just some variables that you really just can't foresee so certain things just inherently might not work no matter what you do so building this part for an example was a bit of a chore it took me about a good hour to figure out the right configuration of pieces just to get this part put together mostly it's not really based on the idea that I needed a specific set of criteria for this part but there were certain things, it just needed to have like basically a long shaft, yeah, I, I said that, 
and uh, it, I was trying to make sure that I could get it all together and weld it all together and the problem with the welding mod at least currently is because of the fact that the welding mod isn't really a hundred percent working the version I'm using likes to bug out with certain things it just doesn't like certain ideas on things that you would like to do so because of that I can only get certain configurations to work while other ones won't work at all I'm really, really hoping and waiting for when the new version of the welding tool comes out because that will be amazing. And I don't even think we're lined up very well with the base, but that's just me. So let's see. Just point this down and we'll just do a time warp and see where we end up. I think we're going to be, we're pretty much on the money already as it is. So. I'm not overly concerned with that. I should just speed up here because we are getting very close to the surface. Just bleed off that speed. Just knock this thing over to the side. It looks like we just loaded in the base. At least I think so. Bring this over. Now what I did do with the Kerbal Attachment System as well, some of you guys might know, is I actually attached... Just to be sure, the rover to the base with the Kerbal Attachment System, just to make sure that, like, because I have debris set to zero, I didn't want any of my crap to get deleted. So, I did that just to ensure that the base is still there. And I wish I could speed this up just a little bit. That, that would be nice. Like, just times five, at least. Because we're going to be falling for a while here. Now I'm kind of just going to wait until we get to the very, very end here and then I'm going to decouple the the last uh, this stage here and then we're going to be operating basically with just this stage. So uh, on the very top, which I'm a little skeptical about using. So it looks like we're right over the base here. That is looking good. I'm going to... I get a burn going straight up. And we need to kind of go over a little bit. There we go. That is looking really good. There's the crane right there, and then that's the base. The crane is actually bigger than the base, but I think once we attach this, then it won't be. So let's see. I should just do a little burn here. That way we're going to be coming straight down. And I think what I'll go ahead and do is decouple. At least for right. Actually, I'm going to hover for a minute here. And I'm going to try to transfer out any RCS or anything that we could actually use. Otherwise, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of this. There we go. Yeah, you know what? I thought that this... The control, at least for this portion, was going to be a lot harder than it actually is, but it's actually a lot easier, to be honest. Uh, this is actually a lot easier. So, For some reason, I feel like we're not lined up properly. Like, we're coming down on an angle. Please shatter into a million pieces. That'd be nice. Or, I mean, explode into a million pieces. There's nothing in this game that shatters. Look at that engine go. That is amazing. All right, we got to slow down. Pay attention. The engine, we will end up like the engine if we don't pay attention. There we go. That was awesome. Explosions are always a good thing. All right, we got to come down really slow. What just exploded? Oh, God, we're going back up. There we go. Ever so nicely. We're hovering. No, no, we're not. There we go. Nice and slow. Slow and steady wins the race. That's what they always say, but I'm not sure. 
perfect. Absolutely friggin' perfect. So what we need to do is we, we're going to use the sky crane on this. It's basically just a giant sky crane at this at the current moment. What I'm going to do is quick save. And... Okay, there's no other parts over here. This has got to be the tallest thing I've ever landed that has, like, some kind of structure to it. Decent structure. Oh, right, there we go. I did try, to, I did make like the moon candle or something like that, and that was like a really old episode, but uh, the moon candle was just a big failure from the beginning. So let's see, uh, let's get to do a little RCS test here. Alright, that's... Alright, looks like everything's lined up. That That's good, that's really good. So... Let's push ourselves over. Something tells me we're not going to be able to get like a decent hover out of this thing. I, I don't see a decent hover in the future. Yeah, now we're going back up. And now we're not lined up. And we're coming back down. Hopefully, yeah, because, ooh, we're going back down. Hitting the surface with this would not be a good thing. That's all I'm going to say, at least for right now. Oh, my God. No, 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 back up. All right. That's looking really good. And my T, oh, God, oh, God. Yeah, that, there we go. I'm telling you guys, you have no idea how hard it is to use... Oh, God. You guys have no idea how hard it is to use a sky crane. I, I, I'm sure there's a few of you out there that have used one before, but, dear God, it the whole time, it's just nerve-wracking. The entire freaking time. You're just wondering when it's going to be over. Alright, that, that is looking very good. I did have to put some struts on this thing too, and I didn't really want to, but yeah, that that was kind of like one of those things that either I put it on there or this base isn't going, or this piece isn't going to work out so well. That that basically is what it came down to. Alright, bring this over. Just need to adjust it over a little bit. I don't think much. I keep on going over to my uh, my numpad to use the uh, RCS controls. Let's see. All right, yeah, there we go. Need to go that way. I'm not gonna uh, give it too much push here because we don't. Oh god, go back down. We don't need too much of a push over or anything like that. I think we're pretty much good as it is. I'm just a little weary. Once you get really close using a guy crane, you just don't want to do anything really stupid, which is really easy to do, especially with bigger, really big pieces. Alright, come on, come on, come on. That is perfect. Such moon base. Alright, whoa, whoa. There we go. Come on, baby. Also, figuring out your surface speed, too, is a, a good way to... Sometimes you just can't figure it out. Oh, right, there we go. Bring this down. Just take a resting position here real quick. Turn off the RCS. Now that we're really really close and we're looking good on fuel this tank isn't even fully used yet and we still got this RCS is looking good I'm not gonna transfer over anything that all right yeah you can see the connection here the connection to the base I that basically it's using this the command module on this is keeping this from getting deleted as far as I know I'm just 
it's a precautionary. There are Kerbals that are inside these HAB modules, but I'm just taking precautions just so nothing gets deleted. I, I really wouldn't enjoy losing this base in the current state that it's in. And can I have... Can oh, okay, there we go. And we got lift off, just push over. We don't really have to do much. Oh god. That's pretty well lined up. I'm not gonna change that. Now we just need to go this way. There we go. Oh god. Oh god. Don't hit the base. Looks like we're pretty friggin' close. Uh, let's see. Oh god. Oh my god, we are a part of the base now. Let's just see how well that connection is. I, I don't... It looks like those... It, it's already crooked. Yeah, the base... Is, that thing is, like, unbelievably crooked. So that's gonna have to be fixed. And I'm probably gonna have to change a lot of that. Hold on. I'm... I will see you guys in a second. I'm gonna start just messing with stuff to try to get this thing, like, perfectly lined up. So I'll see you in a second. And we're back, guys. Yeah, so, this thing is freaking awesome. That That's all I can say. That is the tallest structure. Oh my god, is everything flickering on this base now? It better not be. I won't like that if it is. It looks like certain stuff is. I don't know if that's, like, a setup in something or whatever, but that's going to drive me nuts if everything is. So, whatever. I'll turn off RCS. We don't need any of those. I don't know why it says our orbit or surface. We aren't even moving over the surface, so I don't understand that. We will do an... There's no one in here, actually. Yeah, there's no one in there, so that's no big deal. We need to do an EVA over here. Actually, no, these guys can't even get out. Yeah, th there's some kind of a problem with our rover. They can't actually get out of the rover. So, I have to go and fix that. I don't know what I did wrong, but I, who's in there? Oh, people we don't even care about in the first place. As long as Bill and Bob can, you know, and Jebediah can actually get out of the base, that's that's the good part. So, let, let's let go and have him work We'll detach the rover from the base. Go on. Oh, God. Go on. Grab this. Grab it. Grab it. Right there. Grab it. There we go. Perfect. So I don't know where I got this from. I think it was in here, but that's just, you know, your guess is as good as mine. Let's see. No. I may have, but I, that, I don't know where I got this part from. 
I, I did put a bunch of these in, in, uh, maybe? Yeah, buddy. Come on, come on. All right, we don't care about the container. We All we care about is our amazing, amazing gun tower that we have here. This thing looks awesome. And you get a pretty amazing view compared to the rest of the surface here. Too bad. The one thing I gotta say is you can't actually view anything out of the uh, Coppola module. Like, you, you can basically see this tower here, but, I mean, that's pretty much as good as you're gonna get. That's pretty much all you can see. So, is he gonna land safely? Ah, uh, yeah, he's alright. So, let's see. Get back to the base here. Yeah, there we go. It's a little shaky. Don't know why it's so shaky. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll turn off the uh, torque on these things, too. That might be the problem. There we go. We got our... Uh, let's do an IVA. IVA. There we go. So you can see basically where the light is, but that's pretty much all you can see. I think these strobe lights just, they affect the other lights, but they don't really do anything to the light. And I could have swore I put a light up on top of here somewhere. I may have opted to just take it off. I don't know. I, I have no idea. So I don't know why this isn't extended as well. I, I thought I may have extended that, but I guess not. But there we go, guys. We have our air traffic control tower. That's pretty much what it is. That's what I consider it to be. So, anyways, guys, if you guys like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come to all you new people. Welcome. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.